Hello guys and welcome to a new Steel Division 2 video today by me Vulcan. Today I have for you a 1 versus 1 against a very hard AI on Orsha North. Please remember everything you are about to see is still in the beta and therefore subject to change. So today I wanted to show off the 20th Panzer and what it's capable of. I've given the very hard AI the 29th Tank Corps and they're going to have an abundance of IS-2s in the mid to late game. So our strategy is going to be about winning hopefully before then or at least you know getting to a point where we can hold on for dear life and still win because we don't really have much in the way of heavy firepower. We've only got medium tanks and the AI has loads of heavy tanks. So playing around the center is not really that viable. What's going to end up happening is we're going to play for like the town here uh, and the town here in order to take these capture points off of the AI and these three capture points off of the AI. So that's the plan. Uh, let's get some troops down. So initially in the center, we're probably just going to go for like a bunch of Osteropen. I might bring in pioneers to this town area just so that we can capture that early on. So we'll go a couple pioneers and we'll move them to this town. Now ideally I would have these pioneers actually in Opa Blitzes because the Opa Blitzes are faster. So that's something I would change about this particular battle group. We'll bring in a command there as well just to help us out. And if I have a Panzer Shrek then I should probably add that to the town at some point. For now though I think that's fine. I could also bring in an AT gun to cover that so let's do that as well. Alright so that's that part captured. We also want to have an Oster open that can go up here and defend there for us. Although probably not an Oster open because it's in the open. The trouble is with these disheartened units in Steel Division 2 when they get pinned, they automatically run away. So they're not as good in the open for holding the front line as they used to be in Steel Division Normandy 44. They're great for being in hidden positions. So putting like an Osteropen in the trees here would be a relatively good idea or, or maybe here where they're not in direct line of sight of tanks. I might have that Osteropen go to that position actually just so we can capture that. On this hill, it is a great place for us to have some AT. So I think we're going to do that. There isn't going to be some like super scary stuff in the early games. So we can get away with using a couple of AT guns. And we'll put them onto efficient shot when they unload. Otherwise, it's all going to be about, you know, putting pans fours to this right side and far left side in order to capture these areas. So we'll do the left side first. I'm actually going to use pans of, uh, the Panzer T-34s first, the captured T-34s. These are good because they're really fast. So they can get here and support the infantry very quickly indeed. And we're going to try and take this compound. So we're going to need some pioneers. I'll bring a couple Oster open. And we're going to need some command. And all of those can just fast move to that position. I'm also going to bring in some recon on that side. And then for this area, we'll probably use a couple of Sturm Pioneers, I'm thinking. Just to control this forest. It's not going to be terribly important that we control this forest. The only reason we want this is so they can't bring stuff through the middle and start firing down a reinforcement road. Like, that would be, that would be really bad if that happened. It might also be worth bringing up an AT gun here, but I'm probably going to do that later on. So we'll, we'll chill for now. So that's us spread out like so we'll just need to do the same for the right side we'll bring in the Osteropen I'm going to have these ones just hide in the second building there actually let's just have them hide in that building and then we'll have some Sturm Pioneers that can go into that forest then we need a couple units up on this hill so probably a couple of Pioneers or maybe we could do Pioneer double Osteropen and again Fjöller like we did before and we'll bring up a T-34. And that's pretty much us sorted. We also have access to these flamethrower squads. So we'll bring in one of those and I'll put him up there. Okay, off we go. 
But wish me luck because the AI does have access to T34s and T3485s in phase A. Then they have ISs in phase B and phase C. So it's going to be really, really tough. But I'm hoping to be able to demonstrate how good the Panzer IVs can be at close range. Which is why I'm focusing on this right side strategy and left side strategy. So we can use these trees, for example, to get close to this town and then push, push infantry through there in order to take that. I will need to bring in some command up on this hill. I can probably bring my commander actually on the hill. I might do that with the first tick. We'll bring in the commandant on his Kettengrad. We're going to have a bike zooming ahead there. They're probably going to overtake my Opa Blitz. Let's bring him up. Unload both of those. And get them into position. Put them both on efficient shot. Probably kill off these M2s actually before they unload. That'd be fantastic. Oh nice. Looks like we might be able to push all the way to this objective if we can. Uh, might be a bit too far. We'll see. But if we can make it, that's fantastic. So we'll unload now because they're likely to come up very shortly. Yep. There we go. Perfect. We're going to get the pioneers into the middle building there. Get the flamethrowers into that building as well. And we get my T-34 up there. Let's unload these guys probably should put them on should have put them on shift unload on commands but that's okay taking this side quite nicely uh, we do have a little bit of a gap in our line I think maybe they came down the road or something and got behind us I'm not sure quite what's happened here yeah there's some Strelki the DPs behind us hopefully we can cut those off um, let's just unload these guys. We'll have the Osteropan move out to the corners. Probably best to do this. That mortifier is pretty obnoxious. And you can see the amount of units we've got in the center here. They've already killed off both of my AT guns. Oops. Well, let's bring in the uh, IS-2 to that high ground. And um, we'll unload these guys because they can probably kill any infantry that's trying to get close. Need to unload this AT gun. Lovely. We should be able to kill that squad. Let's keep pushing up on this side. I'll get my T-34s into a position to capture that point. Okay, lovely. Right, let's surrender these guys. On the right. Oh, we're losing a lot of ground. Yeesh. Okay, let's bring in some Panzer 4Gs. Going to be pretty important. Just so many T-3476s that we can't do anything about right now. Uh, that is an AT gun. And <laughs> that's uh, not good at all. Bring these off to open to the edge. Got to remember that they have double my points, so we've got to pretty much go two for one, and double the availability as well. So, yeah, a lot of decent points. Right, uh, this commandant's going to have to get away from all of these units, and we're going to have to hopefully pop these tanks as they come up. Uh, let's just use the road to get close. I'm going to have to bring in an AT gun there as well. Now, unfortunately, this isn't working out too well for me. This BA-20 is actually causing issues. Might be able to land the HE grenade on it. That might work out for us. We'll see. Oh, we did. it did. Okay, good. You can see the kill in the right side there. Bring up another Stern Pioneer. Got a Boston A20G coming out to stray for ass. Keep that hidden, please. Uh, 
and we're going to want to bring in an ME109 to shoot that down. Otherwise, it's just going to strafe us to death. Oh, look how much damage that does. One shot, and we're going to be falling back. I need my 45 more IT gun to get in position as soon as possible. Oh, please don't show side armor. That would be tragic. If we lose the IS, we're really in trouble. I need to bring in a bomber or something. Still haven't shot that down either. Right, we're doing well. Uh, although over here, we probably want to run away from the Strelki. The Boston finally shot down. Let's go go for the, go for the next one. Uh, that's the T-34 finally killed. The Commandant is in trouble. Uh, let's maybe bring in some artillery, or maybe I could... Let's just bring in the bomber first. I'm going to bomb where that commander is, because he's just going to die anyway. Come on, ME109. There you go. You got it. Lovely. Uh, so we'll probably attack move those up onto the hill here. And we'll bring in some more Osterippen. Hold the line. Lovely. Nothing really I can do about a BA-20 at the moment. I can probably strafe the Strauki. But we've lost pretty much all of our units on the left side, anything with armor at least. So we need to replace that. I also need to get a couple tanks that can push into the center. Alright, my boy to Stalin is uh, ready to go again, which is nice. Uh, this recon vehicle is <laughs> just doing... It's just going around the road seat with us at the moment. Oh man. Right, hopefully my IS can get the job done there. We're going to need to bring in some more units on this left side. Sounds like there's some sort of vehicle there. Right, let's uh, give the order like so then, and I'll bring in some pioneers. Currently we're going to lose in 14 minutes. We should ideally be winning at this point. We've only got two AP shells left on that tank. We don't have any way to resupply it. <laughs> until phase B. Right, finally we hit something. That's good. See about pulling that back. Unload these Osteropen. Have them push forwards. With the Panzer 4 G. Okay, good. Uh, that is going to have to fall back as well. We've managed to even things out a little bit. Uh, let's have the Osteropen move into the back side of this town. Maybe we can capture that as well. Kind of led, a, led us in here quite nicely. Although I don't think I want my Panzer 4G to go that way. We actually have 14 in our favour. I mean, our objectives have been complete. I said I wanted to push forwards on the right and left side and so far that's exactly what's happened but unfortunately there's just so many tanks in the center I'm not sure I'm actually going to be able to deal with them. We need anti-tank as soon as we get into phase B I'm just probably just going to bring up some panzer tracks so across the board and that will help us out. Uh, we do want to surrender those guys so let's just get that done thank you very much.
very good. Yeah, I think the AI is just kind of like pushing too far forwards, really. And what that's doing is causing them to get surrounded. I want to probably bomb this T-3485. And then I can easily take it on with the T-34. Alright, that's landed. Good. Now push up. See how much that has pinned down the T-34. Yeah, it's falling back. Perfect. I want my Boiter Stalin to move away from that position. Uh, we'll have my Panzer IV advance onto these. We should be able to out-aim them. Yeah, this turret stuck. Nice. Oh no, there's a T-34 at close range. That's really not good. Let's bring in the JU-87G. Uh, I'm going to bring in some more fighters just in case. Oh, that was an armor crack though. Very nice. Okay, let's focus on these ones on the left then. We'll go like so. And if this works, we'll be in a pretty good position actually. Yeah, let's focus on these two, since we can see them. More engine damage from the AA. We're going to have to pull away, I think. And let's just come in and strafe these guys on the ground. They're probably going to want to actually attack that uh, T-34. Um, it doesn't look like we hit the Ognematiki enough, so that's not good. Uh, let's just focus the Sapoli then. We're still holding quite a lot of this ground. Although the Stralki they are engaging my Ostropin is not good. If I can make them come out of the building, they lose the defensive bonus and we win that engagement, so that's perfect. Uh, I might also want to kill those Ognemachiki. Yeah, we're making them fall back here, that's good. We'll see about trying to get rid of the T-34 that was here. Currently being shot at by a DP, I think, which is why it keeps saying bounce. Oh, we actually lost our tank to the uh, the DP. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, let's get some recon up. And we're going to need some more infantry to take back that left town. So we'll bring in some Stern Pioneers. They're going to have half tracks. Uh, I might actually bomb the mortar there since we can see it. Ah, never mind, we'll just go for this Drowkey for now. We've got control of the skies, which is good. Uh, let's just put these on return fire, and hopefully the T-34 will just drive on past. <laughs> and we need to bring in a couple more T-34s. Well, not T-34s, uh, Panzer IVs, that are good at close range. Because this is how we win. We can just put loads of Panzer IVs in these close range areas. And basically from there, we win the game. Right, let's uh, allow this Panzer Faust to get the kill. Oh, it just wasn't quick enough. That's annoying. Right, my Bush Stalin's ready to go. Let's just move that up. And we also have this uh, AT gun that can engage the T-34 at close range. I'm not sure if that's actually going to work, but we'll see. It's going to see it. We're going to get the first shot off. We only have like 28% penetration chance though. Okay, never mind. He's running away. Yeah, that sucks. Right, we're doing well in the centre here, but it looks like that's all going to fall apart shortly because my Osterupen are being overrun. Ah, uh, shit. There's tanks there. And my Panzer IV G actually lost that engagement. That's transmission destroyed, so I'm going to have to unload those Stern Pioneers and hopefully get them to cover sooner or later. We have our JU-87G ready to go again. It doesn't look like there's much AA there. Uh, there's a little bit pepper in the ME109, but 
I want to have get rid of these uh, T34 E5s if we can. And we are still losing. But we just need to keep piling in with these Panzer IVs at close range. And so far they're letting us have the left side, which is very nice of the AI. Ah, oh, we lost line of sight. That is not good. We do have another one of those. I might actually bring it in. Uh, especially when these tanks start coming our way, which they already are. I'm going to bring in the last of the Osterupen. Just cheap units can get the job done. Uh, yeah, we don't want to engage that IS-2, so we're just going to drive on past that. <laughs> it does have pretty bad accuracy, so hopefully it won't hit. <laughs> Yeah, we're good. Alright. So the plan is just get here and then just give a, a quick hunt order like so. Uh, let's just bomb this area. And I think I'm going to bring in my JU-87 now that we can see these tanks. I might go for the side shot onto the IS-2 here. Seems like a good shout. My Pans 4 actually won the engagement against the T-34 there. You see that bomb pinned down all of those units. Really good. If we can get the side shots in. As we get closer, I think we'll get a higher penetration chance. Oh, nearly. But not quite. Go on, half-track. Beat the IS-2. You can do it. You know you can. Oh, shit. Maybe not. That's a lot of tanks. Oh my. Wish I had my second one available. Oh, we got a decent hit onto the T-34-85 there. Oh, we got the kill. These Panzer IVs can be decent against T-34s, but as soon as IS-2s are the choice for the AI, we're kind of screwed. And at the moment, yeah, we're really not doing well. We're going to have the IS-2 shoot down that JU-87 probably. <laughs> that would not be good. Uh, let's have the Panzer IVs move over here. And we need to make sure that we bring in another bomber, I think, in order to break back this left side, because the only way that we win at this point is taking back this town and this town, I think, because those are the only ones we can really support well. So I'm going to bring in a bunch of infantry here. Uh, we're also going to bring in infantry up here and we'll get a Panzer IV then what I can do is like bomb these positions and hopefully we can take them back oh that's not good oh, shit I knew that would happen whenever it's a 50-50 always goes in favour of the AI and now we've got transmission destroy so we can't even move Bring in my ME109s and hopefully strafe that to death. We do have a side shot, maybe? Maybe not. I mean, we just want to panic it as much as we can. Unfortunately, it's not really working. Yet. <laughs> my JU87G did get shot down. Hopefully not by the IS-2. That would be rather, rather frustrating. We don't even have side shot. I'm going to have to get my JU-87 to do it. Oh, I think it's facing this direction. Oh, maybe not. We might get it. Oh, we got it. Nice. Okay, good. Perfect. Uh, let's just come all the way across. Uh, we'll unload these guys. And uh, we will get into cover. Oh, shit. That AI is going to kill me. Yeah, it's going to kill it. So we're going to have to back off. Unfortunately, we only have eight minutes until we lose... Uh, let's just strafe these flamethrower squads to get rid of those. They're going to be quite annoying. And they're finally attacking the left side again, so that's not good. And we're also losing stuff on this side. Uh, we're in a pretty bad position now. 
since we haven't made any ground in phase B, we're now moving into phase C, where their balanced division has 170 points per minute. Well, it's actually 340 points per minute, and they have IS-2s, so I think we tried our best here, but unfortunately, it looks like we are going to lose. Initially, we, 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 we managed to complete our objective, which was really good, but... Now my JU87 is not leaving when I told it to. And um, yeah, we're having all sorts of issues. Like I think even if we had like an abundance of Panzer IVs up on this hill ready to kill anything that came up, we still wouldn't win because we just don't have anything to really take control. Oh, another IS-2 went down, that's nice. Was that a Pans 4 that killed that? Very good. The strafing capabilities of these ME109s is questionable, that's for sure. We're going to have them get out of there for now. The AI just hasn't invested in aircraft at all, so that works for us, I guess. a bomb on target there that should be able to hit most of those infantry and then I think I'm just going to push down here will it pin down the uh, no it won't the IS-2 uh, let's see what else could we do we haven't used much artillery but Verflammen could probably do the job but again it's just very limited like th there's not much we can do against an IS-2 even if we artied them I've been mainly, instead of in this game in particular, we've been relying on our air force more than we've been relying on our artillery. And there was a thing that I always used to say with Steel Division Normandy 44, especially when it came down to the 101st Airborne, they always had two ways of playing. You could either go for artillery or you go for aircraft. Now aircraft was like a much faster way of playing because you could you drop your bombs immediately and you know it's very fast you can react to that very quickly but when it's artillery it always takes a little bit longer and that's something that's sort of basically the trade-off that you have but in the end total defeat we couldn't really make anything happen i mean we went equal on kills and losses to the very hard ai but I mentioned at the beginning of the game or close to the beginning of the game that you more or less need to go two for, two to one in order to win against a very hard AI because they have double everything you have. They've got double income, they've got double availability. So yeah, and I would say, well, two to one probably to go even. You probably want to go three to one in order to actually win. And I just don't think I had my units in the right places really to make that happen. I didn't really get the Panzerstrecks in when I said I should. That didn't help because I probably could have got quite a lot of value out of them. And yeah, it's unfortunate, that's for sure. But still, a fun game. We showed off a lot of the uh, the units that the 20th Panzer has to offer. That's it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.